Hey guys, Cam here from todaysiphone.com and I'm coming to the end of our series of iOS 7 preview videos. We've broken down so many of the new default apps from Safari to weather to camera, um, pretty much everything in between. Now one thing we haven't really covered is the new change in design to the App Store and the Game Center. Now they've not only been redesigned but there are a couple of new features in there and I wanted to show you like an overview of those. So if I go into the App Store first this will normally be your home screen. This is obviously the featured home page. You'll see things that you're familiar with, like the editor's choice stuff on the top. Um, the more popular ones, then new and noteworthy, what's hot. Um, different categories where they basically put down different apps that kind of group them together. What we're playing, editor's choice, best of newsstand, uh, past editor's choices. Now that's all the kind of stuff that you're you're used to. But something worth noting on the home screen now is that if you hit redeem on here, you can now use your camera to redeem gift cards. Now I don't have one with me, but if you hit that, then you can see you'll get a scan card and you put your number in front of the camera and it will scan it and then you redeem your app. Um, that's a brand new feature. Now design wise, you'll not be surprised to see that they've kept the same unified look that they've got in the rest of the iOS app. So it's very white, very clean, very crisp. So you can see these dividing lines they're grey and they kind of stop about here, they don't go all the way to the end, it's pretty much like every other iOS 7 app that's on here. Um, but something worth noting again in the App Store is that regardless of which section you go to, you can go to Featured or Top Charts, you'll still have categories in the top left hand corner in the same place. And you see it's got this really nice list view that it shows here with, the, with a kind of popular app icon as the icon for that category. Um, another new feature is Near Me. Now it's not actually working right now, so there's nothing here. Nobody else has got iOS 7 Near Me probably. So there are no apps for your current location, but uh, when that's launched, what that'll do is it'll help you find out who in your community or your friends or people that live around you, what are they downloading? And that can be really, really useful if some local independent developer has come up with something that's only applicable or only useful where you live. Um, so that's a, a really cool idea. Now what you may notice is in the top right hand corner here you can see like a little list icon. If I hit that it goes to the new wish list feature and again it's not working right now. You can't add anything to it as of yet. It's still in the early beta stage so that's not available. But once that's there and it's working what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to add apps to your wish list. If you don't want to download them because you're in a, you haven't got Wi-Fi connection, you've only got 3G, um, you don't want to spend loads of money over your bill then you can just add them to your wish list uh, and that's that. Uh, you can search as you always could do. Now updates has been changed as well. Uh, instead of showing you apps that are due to be updated or that you need to update, you will notice that it shows you all the apps that have already updated automatically because it does it in the background. So you'll see it will show you a breakdown of when they were updated and when you downloaded them. And that's that. Now you can still access your purchased apps. You can either see all of them or the ones that aren't on this iPhone and you can download them from iCloud as you have been able to since iOS 5. Uh, I wanted to show you the new Game Center app as well. Um, obviously that's probably one of the apps that's had the biggest makeover in terms of graphical user interface. So if we open that up instead of the green felt and the fake wood and all those kind of game icons flowing around everywhere. What you've got now is a very white, very clean, very crisp and very colourful app. Instead of the green felt you've got a white background and instead of all the pictures and the icons what you have is bubbles. Now pretty much each of these bubbles represents a section of the Game Center app um, apart from requests which is the green bubble. Now you can hit one of those and it's all pretty much the same. It doesn't really feature anything new apart from turns. Now I had the trouble loading this up because my Wi-Fi is being used downstairs and I don't have very quick internet. But what turns does is it shows you any games that you're using multiplayer on. Essentially what it does is if it's your turn in that multiplayer game it will tell you in here and you can launch it straight from Game Center. You can view your challenges in that screen, view all your games in that one and you can have see your friends list there or you can add new friends just by hitting the plus you can add their email i'd like you to be your my friend or something of that nature and you can go to your requests that way too you can see your profile i believe you can change your photo or you can delete it or you can tap on the speech bubble 
and you can change your update right there in the bubble. It doesn't take you to a new user interface or a new graphical interface rather. You can just do it straight in that speech bubble. And everything else here, like I said, is what's there, except you get a funky animation. So that's the new Game Center, uh, new design, very cool, nice new features. I can't wait till they're actually working properly. Turns does work, I just couldn't get to show you right now because of my internet connection. And I don't believe I have any turns waiting because I've taken them all recently. So um, that's a really cool redesign, cool redesign of App Store, cool redesign of Game Center. And that, I think, is the end of our iOS 7 preview videos. I will lump them all together in a written post so you can see a, a more in-depth and overall view of everything that we've done. But for now, if you want to ask me any questions at all about iOS 7 in its current form or in its future form, please feel free. I'm at TIP underscore Cam, and I will see you again soon.